Hey guys, today we're going to be finding some deals on Kohl's.com. Um, what I generally do is go to the first page and see if there's anything kind of scrolling through, see if there's um, any great deals on the first page. Sometimes it'll say, you know, 75% off of toys or something like that. But um, today I don't really see anything. So what I like to do myself is go to toys. Toys are just my favorite thing to do. So I just type in toys here and see what comes up. Um, age range, I'll do five to seven. It looks like it's on 96 per page already. So I'm just gonna start um, clicking the OAX ray extension on a few pages and see what happens. Just to save time, I don't do one page at a time. I'm gonna scroll through to the next page, click the extension and just keep rolling. So um, maybe I'll do five pages. By the time the fifth page is running, I should be able to simply go back to the first page and it's probably be done. Now we have five um, extensions running up at the top and I'll go to page one just to see what's happened. Uh, the easiest thing to do is I'm just going to click on positive ROI items, see what happens. Um, I'll scroll down, look for something. Um, here's a whale plush, and I'm going to choose it specifically because there's no sales rank with it. And um, yeah, I don't want to post any bolos, so what I'll do is just um, analyze this one. Now you want to make sure you do your due diligence and that will be a few things. Um, first, we'll make sure the price is correct. Yep, looks like it's $3.50. Okay, and it looks like it is a matching item. It's the whale plush, says Kohl's Cares, and looks like all that information is correct. When I check my keeper graph, it looks like it was more expensive before and the price has gone down a little bit. So that's good. Well. It looks like it's pretty stable and it looks like it's a high enough margin to where $3.50 shouldn't be a big deal. Whenever I look at my dimensions, I see it's 18 by 4 by 18, which means it's going to be oversized. So um, it's going to be a little bit more expensive to ship. But we have a low shipping weight here of one pound or one pound, eight ounces. That means it's not going to be too expensive. Um, I don't see any negative reviews, but there's no reviews at all. But um no reviews are better than negative reviews in my opinion. I'm going to copy the ASIN and I'm going to make sure I double check through the um, uh, FBA calculator. Let me pull that up real quick. Okay, looks like I got my FBA revenue calculator pulled up. I'm going to paste it. And um, item price, I think that was how much? Uh, 1649. And I'm going to calculate. Here we go. It looks like you're going to make just after fees. Um, it does look like it was okay. They're not charging an oversized fee. Maybe that um, initial product dimensions wasn't correct. In the prep service field, what I generally will do is I'll put in the cost of the item so I can get a true picture um, of what I'm actually going to make, what my ROI is going to be like. Now it does show ROI on the um, extension. But I just want to double check that there's no errors or anything like that and that everything is correct because as you can see, um, the product dimensions change from what Amazon has in this part of its system and what it has here. So I always double check to make sure the information doesn't change and FBA calculator is generally the most correct even if it says something different on the product page. Okay, weight looks correct. Everything is good. So um, on this item, it looks like you're going to spend $3.50 and you're going to make $6.41 from it. So you're going to more than double your money. This would be a good item. Um, a final thing I do before I purchase anything is make sure I do a um, word search and do a word search on Amazon to make sure there's no duplicate listings. I'm going to get rid of this little R here. Sometimes that messes up the search. Okay, scrolling down, it looks like just from a simple word search, there's no duplicate listings for this item. 
this looks like it is the listing to be listed under sometimes you're going to notice there's three four or five other listings so you want to make sure you double check make sure there's not duplicate listings and um, again do your due diligence make sure Amazon is not coming in at a very low price looks like they won't be it's a Kohl's brand uh, make sure you check your dimensions and you double check on the FBA calculator page before you buy anything and look for your reviews sometimes there'd be one stars and if everything is one star some of the times you will get negatives because people will um, leave a um, product review and depending on how they word it it may stick or it may not um, to your account so I try to avoid selling items that have tons of negative reviews but this is a good overview of using OAX Ray on Kohl's.com trying to find items that are profitable on Amazon.com to resell again I purposely chose an item with no sales rank I do not like to post bolos I'm not sure who's gonna find what and at what time so um, this is just a general overview on how to use it have a great day